Welcome to chemistry class. Today we are going to learn the method of preparation for the haloalkanes. First we will prepare the haloalkanes by the alcohols. Alcohols are the most widely used uh, compounds for the preparation of haloalkanes in the laboratory. Okay. So first in the earlier class we have already learnt about the action of al halogen acids on the alcohol to prepare haloalkanes. Again we will recapitulate the formation of um, haloalkanes by the action of halogen acids on the alcohols and another two methods are the action of phosphorus halides and action of thionyl chlorides on the alcohols to prepare haloalkanes okay so first let us understand about uh, the preparation of haloalkanes from the alcohols by the action of halogen acids okay so uh, this means that you have an alcohol and you treat this with the halogen acids and you get halo alkane okay so primary and secondary alcohols form chloroalkanes okay primary and secondary alcohols they form chloroalkanes when hydrochloric acid is passed through the alcohol in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride and they form chloroalkane and a water molecule is released okay now the thing is the tertiary alcohols these are very reactive what are they they are very reactive and therefore they react they therefore they react readily and with the concentrated hcl they react very rapidly even in the absence of the zinc chloride they at the room temperature they form the halo alkanes for example if you take a compound like tertiary butyl alcohol what would be the structure of tertiary butyl alcohol? Here I have a carbon atom and it is attached to three methyl groups. This is your tertiary carbo carbocation group if you have a positive charge over this carbon. Now you have an alcohol, so this is a tertiary alcohol. This reacts with hydrochloric acid even at the room temperature, okay, and it forms tertiary butyl chloride you can see here this is your ch3 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 and uh, a chloride atom is attached here and a water molecule is generated okay so till now we have learned that the primary and secondary alcohols they form the chloroalkanes when hydrochloric acid gas is passed through the alcohol in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride and the tertiary alcohols are very reactive so they do not need the anhydrous zinc chloride they react with the hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid in the um, even in the absence of the zinc chloride to form the tertiary uh, alkyl chloride okay so this is what this is your tertiary butyl chloride and this is your tertiary butyl uh, sorry this was a tertiary butyl alcohol and this is a tertiary butyl chloride so you have formed a haloalkane from a alcohol okay so now we can prepare bromoalkanes uh, how if you take uh, what will you take if you take ethanol and you react with hydrobromic acid then you will get this bromoalkane okay 
now uh, what has happened here is the water molecule generation so you have this water molecule generated here and the formation of alkyl bromide again if you have to prepare the iodoalkane then you have to um, take ethanol if you want to prepare ethyl bromide then only you take ethanol okay react with hydrogen iodic acid and you form this ethyl iodide and a water molecule is generated okay now the thing is we have understood about the formation of haloalkanes from alcohols by the action of halogen acids till now now we are going to prepare the haloalkanes by the action of phosphorus halides phosphorus halide so what is the phosphorus halide phosphorus halide means phosphorus is there and a halogen atom is there so the most common phosphorus halide is pcl5 okay so let us prepare the chloroalkanes by the action of phosphorus pentachloride if you have an alcohol like uh, i'm just taking the ethanol because it's the most common one so this is your ethanol you react with phosphorus pentachloride and then you will get chloroalkane that is chloroethane and what more things you will get here you can see here you have this removal of the oh then pcl4 is also there so you will get this chloroethane then phosphorus oxychloride and hcl okay next let us do the formation of bromo alkane with the phosphorus bromide this means if you take ch3 ch2 oh and react with phosphorus bromide you will get ch3 ch2 br let us just balance the equation you are you have three bromine atoms so this will be 3 ch2 ch2 3 3s 3 ch3 ch2 oh and you will you have your three molecules of bromoethane this is bromoethane and what else is being coming out here is your h3 po okay in the same way if you have uh, ethanol reacting with phosphorus iodide you will get what you will get iodoethane and phosphoric acid okay okay so now uh, let us uh, prepare haloalkanes by the action of thionyl chloride on the alcohol action of thionyl chloride on alcohol okay so if you i'm just taking the common one ethanol reacts with thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine it forms chloroethane 
SO2 gas is released and HCl molecule. So the chloroalkanes are prepared by the action of thionyl chloride on alcohols by refluxing this alcohol with the thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine. Okay. Now this uh, is a very important method for the preparation of haloalkanes. This method is preferred on other methods because products of the reactions this SO2 and HCl they are the gases and they can easily escape leaving behind your pure alkyl halide. Okay. So today we have learnt about the method of preparation of the haloalkanes um, from the alcohols by the action of halogen acids, action of halogen acids. Okay. Next second was what? What was the second method? Do you remember? Okay, the second method was action of the phosphorus halides. Okay. Or PX3. And the third method it is here only action of SOCl2 on alcohol. And the most uh, uh, priority method, you can say the most used method is going to be the action of SOCl2 on alcohol for the preparation of haloalkanes. Okay. So, to learn more about the preparation of haloalkanes and other chemistry topics, just visit like, share and subscribe chemistry class. Thank you.